Hey, look at that. I had my own bumper, Brian Fisher. That's me. Uh, that's my, my name is Brian Fisher. I'm going to share with you actually a couple more names uh, tonight. Uh, see if you recognize any of these. Uh, Margarita Jacob's daughter, Jacob Olson, Olaf Jacobson, Olaf Olson, Olaf Olson Tomty, Louisa Ohl's daughter, Anna Haling, Bertha Sophia Force, Barbara Ann Nelson, and Brian Gregory Fisher. Do you, you recognize any of those names? May, maybe one, maybe one, right? Um, you might not have even known my name until it, it went up on the screen there because I've noticed that as I've moved around uh, Southwood campus and Creekside campus that I run into lots of, of folks who are now members of Grace Bible Church that uh, don't even know my name. In fact, when I go to Southwood or Creekside and I see people that I know, they even say, why are you here? <laughs> so um, it's okay. Uh, it, I'm not depressed and it doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm all right with that. Uh, but you know, it's funny thing about this list that I just read you is that um, I didn't even know any of those names until just a few years ago, my wife got way into Ancestry.com and bought you know, the super membership so she could go all the way back into my, my Swedish relatives. So you know, I knew my mom's name, right? I knew a few things about her life and, and I know my grandmother's name and I know less about her life and then I didn't know any of those names for that. I didn't know any of those people. I don't know anything about their story. And every once in a while, she'll print off one of these lists for me. And I look at that list and I go, you know, I'm going to be on that list pretty soon. And I hope my kids remember my name. Maybe if I have grandkids, they'll re remember my name, right? But my great grandkids probably won't unless one of them gets a membership on Ancestry.com and looks me up. <laughs> they won't know my name. And again, that, that doesn't depress me either. I'm, I'm not worried about it. It's just a fact. Everybody's going to land on one of those lists, and within a generation or two, nobody's going to remember your name. And a few years ago, Blake and Matt and I were writing some Bible studies for Nav Press, and as we were in the middle of this writing project, uh, I had this, this epiphany. And what I realized as we were writing was this, I'm not the next C.S. Lewis. And I like to write, and it was fun, and I want to keep doing it because I like doing it. But, uh, you know, there are probably a few people in my generation that might read the stuff that Matt and Blake and I have written. Um, but then in a generation, it, it's going to be gone. Um, last year, I did a, a sabbatical, and I spent a week in Cambridge, and I was walking through the old bookstores, and I found this dollar a table for all these books, and there was this, you know, what I thought was a reasonably, you know, well-known American writer, and his book was sitting there for a dollar unsold, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if my books will even make it to the dollar unsold table. <laughs> Probably not, right? The way that I'm going to uh, leave a legacy will not be through my writing. My name will be forgotten. On this earth, my name will be forgotten. So, uh, for those of you who don't know my name, my name is Brian Fisher. Uh, I suspect uh, if you didn't know my name coming in, there are probably a few other names that you do know. You probably know that Kevin Barra. Excellent. All right. Blake Jennings. You guys have heard of Blake Jennings, some of you. There we go. Or Matt Morton. Heard to Matt Morton. Trey Corey. Uh-huh. Heard of Trey Corey. Yeah. Got a whoop from his wife down here. Yeah. You're welcome. And Zach Migliazzo and Dusty Davis. And, right? So those are a few names of men that I've gotten to invest just a little bit of my life in. And those men have gone on and they've invested a little bit of their lives in others. And that's what discipleship is. That's what discipleship is. I invested a bit of my life in them and they've invested a bit of their lives in others. And that's the legacy that endures to generations. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian believers, you are our letter written in our hearts known and read by all men. See what Paul's saying? He's saying, you know, there are people in your family and in your neighborhoods, Corinthians, uh, people who will come through your businesses and go on to other places that will never see my face, they'll never know my name, they'll never read the letters I wrote to you, but you're our letter. And they're going to read you. You're a living epistle. You're living and breathing letter from God to them. And I was able to, to, to write a little something to you and invest a little something in you as I discipled and trained you. And they won't know my name, but they'll know Jesus and the Jesus that I love through you. And that's the legacy that I get to leave. And so, you know, I realized this. And again, it, it's not dragging me down at all, but my name will be forgotten on earth. But my name is remembered in heaven. 
Jesus knows my name, and Jesus won't forget my name. And Jesus, before he left, told me exactly how to leave a legacy that's going to last well beyond my days here on earth, and that is make disciples. It's just that simple, make disciples. Now, tonight you're going to hear from a man named Todd Wagner, and I'm guessing a bunch of you already know the name Todd Wagner. There we go. Uh, Todd is senior pastor of Watermark Community Church. It's one of our favorite churches in Dallas. A lot of our graduates end up at Watermark, uh, and he's the, the founding pastor there. He's been there many years. He and his wife, Alex, they have six kids, one grandkid, two more on the way, and their daughter, Landry, is an Aggie, and she's here. Tonight. They have invested their lives in making disciples. Tonight, you're going to hear from Todd. You're probably going to want to hear more from Todd. So he's got a weekly podcast. I encourage you. I've listened to many of these. Uh, it's called... Uh, Real truth, real quick. And one of the things that I really, really deeply appreciate about Todd is when I called him this week and I was asking him, a, you know, bio information, how should I uh, introduce him? He said, you know, just please don't make it long, right? Just a short intro and just say something like, you know, we're just a group of friends trying to figure out how to make disciples in Dallas. So tonight, I feel really confident Todd will be okay if you forget his name, but he won't be okay if you forget the name of Jesus and the priority of investing your life in the name of Jesus in the lives of others. So, Todd, would you come up and tell us a little bit about Jesus? Woo! 